Hey guys, it's Derek Derek Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft, and I, if you're a long time watcher, you know I am a Windows fan, I like PCs, and that's pretty much every, my favorite thing to use, and I have another reason to win, look, like, another reason to use Windows, and Windows has never looked better. Uh, this is a program called Cube Desktop that is allowed for not only Windows Vista, but Windows XP as well, although it does seem to be programmed a little bit more for Vista and works slightly better in Vista than XP. Now, this doesn't mean it doesn't work in XP alone, it works very well, but, like I said, it seems to be more geared towards Vista. Either way, it still looks great, it still works great, it saves your time, saves lots of space. I'll show you what I'm talking about now instead of rambling. Let's move you over to my computer here. Alright. So, yes, that's me in the videos. Um, this is called Cube Desktop, and it stores down here. There is like multiple different ways to go along this basically is just an organizer where you can organize space now if I press the F11 button this happens it pops up a cube this is basically six individual desktops they all are independent work with themselves and if there are programs open on one, they will not be open on the other. So let's switch to this one real quick. And I have my own desktop again, free of any spaces. Now if you want to switch, there's multiple ways other than just this plain cube that you saw earlier. There is also, press F8, and this pops up, which I've forgotten the name they use for this. Uh, 3D Desktop Flip, this is the flip they call. And these also work with arrows, so you press the arrow, goes over. And if you press up and down, you can zoom out or zoom in. This also works with the mouse, where you can simply scroll it and zoom out and zoom in. You can also hold it down, look around. This is kind of cool. Double click and it'll go right back to there. So you can, again, look around, scroll all the way out, uh, double click and it'll go right to the screen. Whoo up. So this is amazing. If you you can also change the controls. If you hold Control F8, you can change that because that's a little annoying. Then it'll pop up what they call the carousel, where you can switch in between. This is personally one of my favorites. Um, there's others. I think that there's one, only one other one I think is easier. Oops. And like I said, you can change it so it's a simple one button push, or if you hold, actually hold Control F8. So arrows again do work. Or you can simply tap the screen to the side. Notice I am not clicking at all. And you can simply tap it to the side and switch this to the next desktop. So like I said, these all work independently and save you a lot of space. Double click, it will go right back to there. Um, if, you get, if you forget how to do all these things, all you do is click on this cube at the bottom, and it will tell you what to do, how to do it. Alright, so this is the, if you press F7, it'll show you this, which also all you gotta do is move the thing down. This is personally my favorite and easiest way to do it. It may not look the flashiest, but it works the best and performance is what matters. So it's just the easiest way, it shows all six, all flat sided, just easy to switch around, you can go around whatever way you want to, double click when you want to get to your window. It's pretty instant. It's I can do things whenever I want to. It's pretty easy. You can change each desktop in each one of them. This is a program man manager. Allows you to do that. If you go up to the side over in any of the corners. Actually, it's just this top left one right here. It'll allow you to do this. So, this is really like... And that was my little email message thing. So, I mean, this is really an easy way just to, I mean, if this, if you've ever used Linux, this should look familiar. This is an absolute easy way, awesome way, and this is not the only thing that it does. Um, it also has the 3D desktop roll, where you can do this. This is also another easy way. If you hold down the arrow keys, you just go flying. Woo, seizure time. So, I mean, this is absolutely, I love this software. I use it all the time now. 
I actually just found it not long, actually an hour ago. I just found this. I've been using it like crazy. I love it. This is absolutely amazing. And there's also one other thing I love it for. If you press F9, it opens up all windows. This is basically just an easier way to flip between windows than the Vista Flip, which if you click at this bottom thing on the bottom where my mouse is, click on the thing at the bottom, it'll open up this in Windows Vista. This is a regular one where you just flip through. You can switch to anything you want. Say I want to open up my iTunes or something, I just go over here, click on the iTunes, and it's open. But if I press F9, it'll open up this thing, which is an even easier way to use that. And this is what the Cube Desktop thing, the flip, was with normal Windows Vista. So this is just absolutely amazing software. I love it. Um, go download They have a trial version. Um, just link in the video information. Trial version. Only it lasts 120 minutes, but you'll get the feel for it, and if you really want to go buy it, you can. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, I highly recommend this software. It's only a one-time buy. You can buy through PayPal. You can buy through pretty much anything, and it's just awesome. Okay, so just to show that, again, open up a bunch of windows. do 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 do, do. Okay, so a bunch are open. Press F9. shows every single one of them. The more you open, the more you get. So you can open up one, I'm going to close these now. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alright, so they're all closed. And if you think that's all a little bit too complicated, there's also little tiny ones down here, which range 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll click on the 6, and it switches desktops. So it's even easier just if you want to switch through without having any of that flashy crap, then you can simply do that. So this is about the best software, I highly recommend it totally amazing I love it just so useful and you can manage the icons on every single desktop this is a little thing that allows you to manage icons and all of that you'd have to see it to actually understand it um, you can also manage windows it has loads and loads of options go check it out it's amazing I love it um, so loads these are all the options just absolutely awesome. I love this program. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend it. And just because, if you were wondering why I wasn't actually recording my screen, it's so I could actually show you this. Okay, this is Windows XP, if you don't know. Um, it also works on Windows XP. See, here's the cube. It works with each resolution. This is the background I have right now. So, I mean, it works with it. I'm downloading stuff on torrents right now, so my computer's going a little slow. But, I mean, it works with it. So, like I said, it also runs better on Vista than it does XP. Ooh. Let's go here. And let's say, uh, as you can see, here's my desktop. Press F9. This is the only thing I have open, so that's the only thing that's really going to pop up. So, let's go to my desktop. You can see this is the background I have for my desktop. Let's say you want a different background in each one of your uh, things. So I'm going to go to here. And, as I said, each one works independently. So, this is the second one, and there's a different background. So let's go to that cube again so I can show you. Alright, so here's this background, and then there's here this background. So like I said, each cube is completely independent, I mean you can even set your own backgrounds, your own desktop, everything's completely different on each cube. This thing really, really helps and saves you a lot of time. Um, just to show that again, Let's say you want this background, right click, it works just the same, set as desktop background, yes, stretch, yada yada, close it. Alright, so you got this background. Alright, so and then the other ones stay the same. Alright. Alright, so F7. See, as you can see that. different backgrounds than the other ones, but the ones we switched stayed the same. So, absolutely amazing software. I love it. This is just 
it's saving me so much time, it's amazing. Um, if you're interested in checking this at all, checking the video information, try out the trial version. It's amazing. If you really like it, you can go buy it. I'm sure you can find it in Torrent somewhere. But it's just um, something I really wanted to tell you guys about because it's such an amazing piece of software, and I love it. All right, so I guess that's the end of this video, and my fanboyishness towards Windows Vista got even more. So some of you might be hating me right now, but... Go check it out. Amazing. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this before I actually end the video. But I'll see you guys next review or something or whenever I want to talk about something. But go check it out. Video information. Awesomeness.